Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Lu. Today, I'm going to move away from the stock market and move away from property market. In fact, I'm going to move away from investment. I want to talk about something that I see that I buy song, you know, really not happy as some of the reactions of the public. So I thought I want to give uh, my personal reflection. And, you know, you can judge me, you can judge uh, Mr. Tan Chuan Jin, but, but let's hear me out first, shall we? So today I'm going to do some reflection on what I think the new Mr. Tan Chuan Jin saga is about. Uh, I'm not so concerned about Mr. Tan Chuan Jin himself, but I'm more concerned about, you know, our society and some of the comments that are made and things like that. So, um, so let this be a casual Friday night uh, conversation and let's see what people say, okay? So the backdrop of how this new saga came about is Mr. Tan Chuan Jin has uh, resurfaced in, uh, in the media uh, and he's going to lead a master class in leadership. It's a three-session master class, uh, not cheap, uh, thousands of dollars, um, and they teach people about leadership, especially in the Singapore context and things like that, right? Um, and there's uh, three sessions, it's a few hours, quite long, you know, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, and, I, and I think uh, it's quite interesting that we see him now uh, back in the media, at least uh, in uh, coaching. So the context of it is that it's about teaching people how to do well in a leadership context. And the, the course itself is uh, $1,000 each dollars and hosted by some corporation, which is not, not, not important. Some of you say, who is Mr. Tan Chuan Jin, especially younger folks? Of course, all of us now know who is Tan Chuan Jin, right? Uh, first of all, of course, he has a lot of leadership experience. He was from the SAF, retired as a Brigadier General, so one-star general. Elected as an MP, his last role was a Speaker of Parliament. Uh, he then res resigned from the Parliament after his affair with a fellow MP came to light. He deactivated all his social media and disappeared for a good 10 months or so. Right? So he just uh, came out uh, in the public with these new causes and you know that got uh, 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 quite a few people stirred up. So how did the media portray him this time? Right? Uh, interestingly, Straits Times, Channel News Asia, all the mainstream media nothing talk about him, nothing, or rather nothing much talk about him. That's interesting. But the alternate news media, the gossipy website like Mothership, Marshare News, uh, It World and all this, you know, uh, they came out and talked about him. They were more reporting it factually, okay, about the cause and things like that, right? Uh, and of course, there are some not so friendly website, you know, talk about him like Gutsy Asia and things like that. But anyway, that's not important. But it was picked up by the news media. What is not interesting is not the, the news media report. What is interesting are the comments because the comments reflect us as Singaporeans and uh, and what the people say and things like that. First of all, it is very nice to see that there are quite a lot of people who are very graceful, right? And basically, it's a live and let live kind of uh, mentality. And and people say, you know, um, who has not done any wrong or mistake in life? Let him be the first one to give. Give the man a break. He's done many good things. One mistake, you condemn him, okay? And that person say, give him a break. Don't push people to a limit. Move on and let him get on his feet, right? Don't kick a person when he's down. He has paid a price. Move on. Don't belittle him. After all, we're all human. Let him go on with his life meaningfully. Social media is truly vicious. I wonder if some of comment commenters here have achieved what Mr. Tan has given a break. So I think it's very nice to see that a part of our society has this grace, okay? This grace huh? that actually live on, you know, and li live and let live, right? And let's not forget that Mr. Tan Chuan Jin has done quite a lot of good. He was a very good MP. I think as an MP, nobody really criticized that he's a, he's a bad one, right? So I've uh, people here say he was a good MP, actually. I remember when he, I was not working, I couldn't get a job. I went to meet your people, uh, meet your MP session, then Marie Preji Asi, he gave him all the support a person can get. And the next day, he was given financial assistance, grocery and job assistance, right? So obviously, Mr. Tan Chuan Jin did a great job, right? Uh, and our person said, I remember there was a, a having once with a work permit issue due to negligence, so it was a mistake. Went to him for appeal and thank, thankfully, MOM made a concession after Mr. Tan made the appeal. Forever grateful, remember, good work. So Mr. Tan Chuan Jin has done tremendous good for his GRC, okay? Let those people who criticize him slap your own face and wake up, okay? Yeah, that he's, uh, he may not be perfect, but he has done a lot of good for his for his, uh, his, his uh, GRC. So the question really is, is he suitable to run such a leadership course, right? Uh, I think a lot of people say that, mm, well, I still want to teach people. Uh, 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 his bias, even as a speaker, how can he be a fair leader? I thought of he should be given a master class in cheating and said, you know, leader of a house teaching you how to lead in your workplace in a bedroom, blah, blah, blah. Have been single my whole life as a failure. I need consult, you know, found one. Anyway, 
These are idiots. Uh. Yeah, idiots. Uh. Yeah, these people are really, really idiots. Uh. Okay, really idiots. There were some comments made by, by a famous uh, runner and marathoner called Mr. So Yong. I think there's some uh, tremendous bad blood between them. Uh, so Ri Yong, you know, really, 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 really dressed him down in the social media. And So Ri Yong is a very public figure. Uh, Mr. So Ri Yong is a very, very good runner. I think he broke the seven, the 2.4 kilometers under seven minutes and it was amazing uh, and led uh, a lot of great runs. And, but unfortunately, I think some of the comments he made uh, really, really hurts. Uh, okay. Leadership... You deleted a social media when shit hit the fan right. where, because you didn't have the balls to stand up against the backlash. No soldier will trust their lives uh, in war with you, General. Go lecture on something else and blah, 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 blah. Really bad blood between both of them. Now, I, it, it's not easy for us outsiders to understand the bad blood between both of them because So Ryong was a marathoner who was excluded from some representation in some of the, the national games, okay? Right. And uh, the S... NOC, the Singapore National Olympic Council, felt that So Ryong displayed conduct that falls short the standard okay, that the Sports Council expected. Uh, and then Tan Chuan Jin was the president of SONC, right? So, so there was a lot, a lot of bad blood between both of them. And as a result, in right now, when Tan Chuan Jin is down, you know, So Ryong gave uh, Tan Chuan Jin a good one. I just need to say this, okay? Show some grace. Uh. Uh, maybe you are not shown grace. But it will be tremendous respect to you if you are able to give people some grace, right? Okay, do unto people what you want others to do unto you, right? When you are down, you are not dealt well, okay? You could take this chance to show to show revenge or you could take this chance to show grace, right? I saw you really helping fellow runners, okay? Their cup fell when they're running. You took the water and gave it to him, you know? That was tremendous, tremendous uh, sportsmanship whatsoever. I wish that you could extend that grace. You're not shown grace. I know that. I wish you would extend grace to him. I don't know Mr. Tan Chuan Jin. Uh, I met him once, casually, uh, when I was walking the streets in Europe. I happened to meet him and his family. But I don't know him, right? Uh, but I thought it would be tremendous grace uh, if you could you could show him in a time when someone is down. So uh, what happens to other, other politicians uh, with sex scandal in other countries? Well, I can really see two. Right? No one the famous also was Bill, Bill Clinton with an affair with Monica, Lewin Monica Lewinsky, right? He was acquitted uh, after uh, impeach for perjury and obstruction of justice. But he ended up still a, completing his presidency, uh, written a book and helped out a lot of people. And I remember when uh, Lee Kuan Yew uh, passed away, he represented US uh, to, to attend uh, the, the funeral. So you still a person with high regards. Okay, That's Mr. Bill Clinton. Arnold Schwarzenegger was once the California governor. Uh, he fathered an illegitimate child, okay, and admitted to it after his gover governorship. And he's still very active in the entertainment, you know. Uh, and he said, right, his wife, Maria, had to suffer. The kids had to suffer. And his love child, that means an illegitimate child, Joseph, his mother, and everyone, I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life. Uh, a lot of regrets, a lot of regrets. So what are my reflections of this whole saga? Number one is the greatest victim is his family, not you guys, okay, not you guys, uh, commenters and I've met his wife, I've met his uh, children. We were walking along the streets of Milan and uh, we happened to meet him. They were having a holiday, okay? Just about, I think, two years ago or something like that, right? What has happened to him is a sin. It's not a crime, okay? It's not a crime, it's a sin. At the heart of it is a personal matter between he and his family or so. I think we are inflicting more pain on his family by letting it not go in his media. So I, I think he took a lot of strength to stand on his own feet, okay? I think we should encourage it, right? Some of the comments made were terrible, really terrible, really terrible, okay? Uh, shame on you guys, really shame on you guys. You guys have no class, no grace, no? Very yao siu, uh. you know what's yao siu, okay? Yeah, just shame on you guys, man, shame on you guys. So let his family go, okay? Now, someone said, but Mr. Lu, you talk about this news, right? I, I, I say this in response to very harsh treatment given by the social media, I'll just say this, right? Okay, stop biting with you. He's running a leadership course. I think it's a great course. Those who are interested, those who can afford it, should attend it, okay? But I think uh, let's uh, let the family go. Let the family go. I think there's a very famous quotation, uh, religious quotation in the Bible. It says this, let those without sin throw the first stone, okay? For those people who dare to throw the first stone, you know, Please search yourself and uh, see whether you are without sin, right? I don't know about you. I'm, I've got lots of sin, right? If you open my heart inside, right? I just the, the heart is black. I did illegal fishing before. I was caught by the police, you know. From that perspective, I'm sinful. 
sometimes I speed along the road, you know, uh, especially in Europe, you know, where th the place I just cannot find dustbin as well. Just throw rubbish everywhere. I curse and swear and things like that, you know. Who is not without sin, right? But let those without sin throw the first stone. So those people who are who are throwing stone at Mr. Tan Chuan Jin, you know, I hope your life is without the sin. I think Mr. Tan Chuan Jin has a lot of experience, a lot of leadership, okay, experience, uh, and even, you know, experience in tripping and fall and standing up as well, you know, they can contribute to Singapore. Please let him continue to do good for the society. Don't throw stones at him and lay him down. Again, right, I need to say, he's not my friend. I don't know him. I've just one encounter with him. But just judging from social media and all this, I think we should just let him continue to be a good citizen and contribute. Give him, you know, give everyone deserve a second chance or even a third chance, right? Uh, I've given talks before in halfway houses and things like that. Deep, but these are people who are incarcerated, you know. They look normal people. They are all dying to have a second chance. A lot of them went back to their old ways because they were not given a second chance, right? Now, Mr. Tan Chuan Jin didn't commit a crime. It's a sin. It's not a crime. I think it can contribute a lot, you know, more to the society, right? Last comment I want to make uh, is this, okay? Some of the people here are in transgression. You know what kind of transgression I'm referring to, right? Okay. Or you're tempted by it. You're borderline stepping into one of the wrong relationships or you're already one of them. Stay far away from it. Stay far away from it. Judging from what happened to Mr. Tan Chuan Jin, you know, the pain that you can inflict on your family and yourself will be a lifelong trauma. Lifelong, right? I've seen a lot of people in uh, such relationship, all tasted sweet and uh, wonderful when they're in it. After a while, all turn bad. Not one of these cases end up in anything good, right? All bad. All bad, right? And the world will not move on uh, for you, right? The world will take every chance they have to fight. And the pain that you inflict on family will be tremendous, right? Stay far away from it. Educate our children, whether our sons and daughters, stay far from it. Whether men or women, you know, if you are in such a wrong relationship or tempted by such a wrong relationship, stay far away, right? Stay very far away from it. Well, with this, uh, you know, this is just a casual Friday night uh, conversation, you know. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk about uh, finance uh, tomorrow, okay? See you and have a great day.